Hey guys, what's up? It's Katie Bang and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a house tour, so come on in. Okay, I have the world's shortest and shakiest arms, so me vlogging is going to be a challenge, but I'm up for it. So now that we're inside, because it's a little chilly, this is where we're at. So I'm just gonna show you around from my point of view. And yeah, so when you first walk in, this is what you see. If you turn to the left, you have my dog training room. This is the gist of the dog training and filming room. So I have my little couch set up right here, and it says Katie Bang. We actually just added that, and I think it's so freaking cute. And then we have all the kennels I use. A lot of people ask me why I use kennels. I don't keep my dogs in kennels all day long. I don't agree with that. But I use kennels because sometimes I do work with aggressive dogs and it helps keep this area structured. And also my dogs really like their kennels. So if you use a kennel properly, it should actually be a positive place for your dog. Then I have another ottoman right there and the two dog treadmills. So this is actually a design dog treadmill and that's a normal person treadmill. The only difference is dog treadmills are a little bit longer and the person treadmill is a little bit shorter so dogs can only walk on the person one whereas on the dog treadmill they can run. Okay now if we keep walking forward this is where the dining room should be but we just have a nice foosball table and yeah we don't ever fancy dine in my family so the foosball table works perfectly fine. Then we have a room which is not my room so I'm not going to show it and we can keep walking straight in. Okay, so over here we have my table, the living room, and the kitchen, which I'll go more in depth about. But right to our left is the pet pantry, which is a mess right now, I need to organize it. So all things pets reside in here. We can close that on up. We have our stockings up because it's about to be Christmas. And then we have the dog toy bin and the Christmas tree, which honestly, I love the Christmas tree. I'm so excited to get photo ops with the animals and the Christmas tree. Then we have this nice couch. My favorite part about the couch is the fact that it turns into a bed, which I actually have to take the left one and get it. We have a candle burning, and everyone that knows me knows I love candles. Actually, oh, this isn't the one. There's the vanilla one, and these were cheap candles. The vanilla one smells good, but I'll show you my favorite in a second. So this is where we eat and where I plan. As you can see, I have my planner right here. And yeah, it, I just got this today. So I'm just starting to write down everything I need to do in 2019. Then this is the view of our kitchen. Super cozy and nice. We have this nice island because my family does love to cook so it works out well. And why do we have two fridges you might ask? The reason we have two fridges is because I'm vegan and my family and everyone that lives here is not. So all my vegan food goes in that fridge and all the non-vegan food goes in the other fridge. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little extra. The pantry is pretty much where all the unhealthy food resides. Yeah, we have a lot of food in here and so many chips. Here's the candle I was talking about. I'm obsessed. It's called hazelnut cream. It was $3 and it's the best candle I've ever smelled. Okay, so now moving on, we're going to go back to the front room because I forgot the animal room, which is one of the most important rooms, I think, in everyone's opinion. So let's go right on in. So this is the animal room slash my office. You can see we have the guinea pig cage, some shavings, my little desk and computer. And then we have a mouse cage, another mouse cage, um, peanuts, the hedgehog cage, another mouse cage, and mashed potatoes, the hamster's cage. And his cage is huge. So last time I checked in, I only had female mice, and now I have two male mice. And I just want to address their cages really quick. First off, I rescued them. They were living together, so I got really worried about them on Craigslist. So I rescued them and separated them right away. And I'm gonna go get bin cages for them tomorrow because mice need at least two feet square, or like two feet long of a cage. And they're in a 10 gallon right now, which I just personally don't think is big enough. So I'm gonna go get them bin cages tomorrow, probably 40 gallons each. Um, yeah, but I just wanted to address that. They're in that for temporary holding so they don't eat each other. 
Okay, and then anytime you walk by the pantry in my house, this is Zesty. She is our baby tiger. Actually, Tabby Cat, but we call her baby tiger. And she has like an alarm system that anytime this pantry opens or you're by it, she'll usually meow at you. I swear she meows at me like all day, every day. And now she's stopped meowing. Okay, that's cool. So yeah, let's go see my room. So now we're in the living room again. Yay! If you go down the hall, we're gonna get to my room. Oh, but first, let's stop at the bathroom and go to go potty. I literally am such a nanny. I nannied for like eight years. And so I always say go potty instead of go to the bathroom. So my bathroom is pretty basic. I don't really decorate or anything. I'm not that talented. Oh, there's us. Yay! Hi! This is a weird way. I don't know why I did that. The bathroom. Everything's pretty basic yeah oh and my phone is always in my pants that's a trick of mine and also I'm not an Ohio State fan so I'm wearing an Ohio State shirt because it's cute and gray and I love gray things but I went out in public in this and I had like literally not exaggerating 10 people come up to me and be like oh go Ohio State and I didn't understand why because I forgot I was wearing this and yeah, it's because I'm wearing this. Moving on, let's go to my room. The lighting's probably gonna be a little weird, but, oh, there's the alarm. Yep, that's the alarm cat. She wants food. So now we're in my room, I'll show you around. It's pretty much just reptile cages, a betta fish, and yeah. Okay, here is Douglas's cage. I'm actually gonna slip his, switch his reptile carpet to um, tile because as you can see, it stains very easily which is annoying me, but his tank, I got used as a turtle tank, so it's not easy to clean, but there's Douglas. You can kind of see him. He's just chilling, living his happiest life. Here we have my Mexican black king snakes cage. He's in a 40 gallon right now, and it's working out very well for him. And for his water, I have to get him a new water because he's grown so much, so I just have a little container in there that he can go in for fun. And then we have my leopard gecko's cage, which she always never fails to make it a mess. And here she is. Let's say hi to her. Hi. She wants worms, always. She's a very good eater, thankfully. My bed, and then we have Harrison the beta right there. I'm actually going to upgrade his tank. And then we have my ball python, Sasha. I'll get her out in a second. And Samanda the hog nose so let's say hi to her first just got the carpets cleaned with like a pet friendly cleaner so i can show you one interesting thing about hog noses is they aren't venomous to people only they're like toxic to frogs and amphibians but since they do have a little bit of per se venom or whatever in them they do slither like a venomous snake so i always find that super interesting because you can watch as she goes the prettiest girl ever then here's Sasha and she's been a little bit more challenging to get to eat so she hasn't grown quite as much but she's definitely getting there and she's so pretty okay yeah let's not leave Okay, so that was my room and my snakes, and now when you walk out of my room, so this is my room, you turn, right here is the laundry room, and that's where the cats have their dry food, Zesty is always screaming, the dog water is there, and then this is my sister's room, sneak peek, not because she does have her own channel, and I think she hasn't posted much on it, but she's told me that she wants to do a room tour because she has a bunch of tanks in there. So, because of that, I'm not going to steal her. Steal her s spotlight? Sunshine? I was going to say sunshine. That's definitely not right. So, let's come back over. I'm so excited to talk about this. Is it backwards on camera? It might be backwards on camera. 
Okay, but yeah, this is my house. This is my room. It's kind of a good setup because I'm a dog trainer. I own a lot of animals, so everything's really compartmentalized, which works. So yeah, it works out well. I know this was just a basic tour, but it's also been something that's highly requested, which I don't really know why. Oxer, stop. He wants me to play with him. I don't know why it's highly requested, but I'm down for it. And let me look for a creature call out. Okay. Okay, today's creature call is going to be going to Bailey Kaser. So Bailey, thank you so much for all of your support. You just spam me on Instagram, so I saw you first. I appreciate you and I appreciate all of you. If you want a creature call out, make sure to subscribe, follow me on all my socials, which will be at the end card. And also turn on your post notifications so that little bell, bump it, tap it, smash it, whatever you need to do. And you'll get notified every single time I post a video because you wouldn't want to miss one of these. I love you all so much. Let's talk about something in the comments. If you made it to the end, I will know. And if you say what your favorite scent of candle is. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all. And I will see you next video. Bye.